Hi everyone, in this video we will see about traffic signal and design by Webster method. First let's see how a traffic signal works. Suppose this is the intersection. So traffic signal works on time sharing principle. Suppose this is the stop line and during red interval the vehicles queue up one behind the another. When it is green this side goes first and this side becomes red and next this phase happens. So one cycle is completed. So traffic signal works on time sharing principle. Now let us see the important terms of associated with traffic signal. First is cycle length. Cycle length is the time taken by the signal to complete one full rotation, one full cycle. So that is cycle length. Green, re green interval and red interval are the amount of time for green and red time respectively. Change interval is nothing but yellow time. And clearance interval is for pedestrians and for vehicles to clear. Sometimes you see that all the four sides there is red signal. It is because the last vehicle should be able to clear when it has passed. So that is why clearance interval is given and hence the name clearance interval. What is a phase? So first if suppose this side goes all three directions are possible. So this is one phase. The second phase is like this. So there are four phases in a four armed intersection. So that is a phase. One phase is green interval plus change and clearance interval. Before we move on to Webster design, there are two important terms which you need to know. One is loss time and another is saturation flow. Suppose this is the first vehicle, second vehicle, third vehicle and this is the nth vehicle waiting during red time. Now this side becomes green. So the first vehicle takes some seconds to start and the second vehicle takes lesser amount to start because for the first vehicle it takes some time to react that the signal is green and then only it starts. So the second vehicle takes little lesser time and the third vehicle takes even lesser time. After one particular time it becomes constant. So this constant time is the headway. So it is constant headway and so the extra time taken by the first few vehicles is called the lost time L. So there will be a lost time for each phase. Saturation flow is nothing but the highest amount of flow possible. So saturation flow is inverse of headway. This constant headway which we see that is saturation flow. Saturation flow equal to 1 by headway. If headway is in seconds and you need saturation flow in vehicles per hour, so it is 3600 by h vehicle per hour. So this is saturation flow. Here I will explain how the signal works. Suppose this is the start of red time and here this is the number of vehicles number of vehicles. So if suppose red time is for 30 seconds. So vehicles start keep on queuing first 5 vehicles arrive, 10 vehicles arrive, 20 vehicles arrive like that. After that it is green time. So the vehicles keep on discharging. So the queue reduces. So this is discharge of vehicles during green time. And this is vehicles stopped in red time. So this area will give you the delay during red time. Now we will move on to the Webster method. So these are the important terms associated with Webster method. 
first we need to know what is saturation flow you know and absorbed volume is the volume absorbed in each phase here saturation flow for this phase will be 1 by h and volume is the volume which you observe on the road so critical flow ratio this is a very important term critical flow ratio y i y i represent each phase so there are four phases here so y i equal to v i divided by s i so it is nothing but volume by saturation flow this ratio is called critical flow ratio so for four phases there will be four critical ratios y1 y2 y3 and y4 like y2 is v2 by s2 y3 is v3 by s3 and so on and what is loss time loss time as you saw because of some vehicle discharge first few vehicles took lot of time so that is why we had loss time so loss time is usually given per phase so loss time equal to loss time per phase into number of phases and if there is any alternate time it is plus alternate time usually alternate time is zero so this is loss time so based on these two things webster has defined the optimum cycle length optimum cycle length equal to 1.5 l plus phi divided by 1 minus sigma y i for one two phases it will be y1 plus y2 for three phases it will be y1 plus y2 plus y3 and so on and green time for each phase suppose you want to know for ith phase gi is equal to yi divided by sigma yi c not minus l so if you want to know for the first phase g1 equal to y1 and suppose there are only two phases y1 plus y2 c not minus l this will give you the green for each phase so this is all about webster method i have solved some numericals in the next lecture you can check that out thank you guys for watching the video also you can visit our blog for more gate solved questions thank you once again